Welcome to the Lotus Goddess Divine Love. Hi everyone, how's everyone doing today? Hope we're doing well and staying safe. Welcome back everyone. Welcome if you're new to my channel. I do Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, Twin Flame Journey Charm readings. And let's begin. And just keep in mind that this is a general reading. Let's see what messages come through. In this reading, I see there's a divine masculine who's in the middle of something. So middle of work and middle of transitioning to something else. So it could be like moving from one place to another, one state, one city, something like that. Another thing I see here is that this divine masculine is feeling a little bit overwhelmed with a few things that are going on in his or her life at this time. Uh, it shows here that they have a very strong bond with Divine Feminine. They know it. They feel it. And they feel intuitively guided to make the steps that they're about to take now. So there are steps that this Divine Masculine is taking that are leading up to a new beginning, a new, a new start. How is it going to happen? This Divine Masculine is not sure. What direction to go? Again, this divine masculine is not sure, but it's like he is taking small, small baby steps. Um, I see here that this divine masculine wish he he had someone to tell him what to do. Um, when I say that, I mean the decision. What decision should I make at this time? Where should I go? I feel that. Because this Divine Masculine is working on a few things, they're not really 100% um, about, is this the right thing for me to do at this point? Am I taking the right step? Is this the right decision that I'm making right now? So I see here that this Divine Masculine is working towards something. He, he or she wants to is hoping that good things come come out of whatever this is. I see here something about wanting to spend time with friends, family, um, because this masculine in this reading is not in a happy place here. It's been a while since this divine masculine felt like they belonged. Um, they are a little bit tired. They are tired of competition. There's competition here, some sort of jealousy. And Divine Masculine is aware that, that things could be better. It's like, I know how I feel now. I know it's been a while since I've been in a place where I can say I'm genuinely happy about my life, about what I have. And this Divine Masculine wants to make changes to, to change things. So moving towards something that is new. They want to feel that happiness again. They understand that it does require some work on their part. Inner work. It shows inner work. So inner work here is it's something about... Something about having high hopes for things that did not work out and accepting it. Accepting that it's okay to, to try. It's okay to make mistakes. It's okay if, if you're wrong. It's okay if, if you didn't understand at one point, but now you see things differently. So this to my masculine's inner work has to do with getting to know more about self, understanding why things happened the way they did and accepting it for what it is, not putting blame on self or on others or the situation, but accepting that 
what has happened or what has taken place has led up to this, this moment, this time. I see transformation again in this reading, transformation, wanting a new beginning, a, a new life. So a new um, way of living. So it's actually a home, the home life, the physical. Um, it's like the actual physical home. Wanting to have balance, wanting to have stability, a, a good foundation, a strong structure. Masculine um, shows here that masculine allowed certain people to take the place of divine feminine. This divine masculine allowed someone else to take divine feminine's place in the home. So for whoever this resonates for, it shows somebody has entered the home that divine masculine allowed. It's like they allowed um, this to to take place this this person to take take the place of divine feminine in the physical home okay not divine feminine's place meaning in his life but in the physical home it shows here that there was somebody who may have lived with divine masculine i don't see them there anymore it shows here that there was a decision that it's best for divine masculine to um be on their own um, because Divine Masculine has the strength and the independence to do so. It shows here an independent life, busy, um, being on their own. But there was a moment where there was somebody who tried to um, kind of like, um, it's what I, what I'm, um, the word I'm getting is spotlight. They wanted the spotlight. They wanted the um the popularity or something like that, that has to do with divine masculine's life. It's like they wanted to be the one. They wanted to be the one um, that people knew about. And I feel that this divine masculine did allow it to happen. I see divine masculine, someone turning back on this, this connection between divine masculine and it is... Um, I feel it. it's either, it, it looks like a karmic lesson here because I see something about learning a lesson that was of a low vibrational energy that involved um, things that, that the Divine Masculine needed to learn about. In their separation, uh, there was a lot of things that Divine Masculine had to face and they had to show their strength as a masculine counterpart. The Divine Masculine really had to stand up for self with what they knew, what the situ situation was they needed to share. It's like kind of like confronting, confronting, sharing to the other person. This is what I know. This is what I feel. And it's just facts, just facts, information that this divine masculine expressed to this person. But in this reading, it shows divine masculine as being in singleness, single season, somebody who's independent, who's willing to do the work to transform their life, who's in the middle of the transformation. I see um, in this reading the energy that the Divine Masculine, in this reading, it shows here the Divine Masculine is tapping into the feminine energy. This is part of balancing out the Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine energy within the Masculine. Okay, so I'll, I'll rephrase that. So the Divine Masculine, because we have Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine energy within, right? This masculine at this point, it shows here that there is a focus on the divine feminine energy within divine masculine. It's like balancing the energies out within self because the first union is within self, right? This masculine is focusing on the divine feminine energy. I see a lot of divine feminine energy here in this reading that is for the divine masculine. 
so that this masculine can come into balance with the energy. It's like tapping into the feelings, the emotions of divine feminine, the strength of divine feminine, understanding what it feels like to be in the energy of divine feminine. It's going to help not only balance divine masculine out, but it gives him a stronger connection to understanding and energetic connection to their counterpart, Divine Feminine. Divine Feminine in this reading, kind of, um, kind of tired of hearing the same old, same old. That's what I see here. Um, not really expecting much change soon. So what they're doing in this reading, I see Divine Feminine as um, just keep moving forward. This Divine Feminine is moving forward um, without really paying much, too much attention to what's going on with the masculine. But having this kind of like patience about it. Like, okay, I know that Divine Masculine is doing what he needs to do in order for him or her to grow, right, in their spiritual path to have a better understanding, to become more enlightened. But in the meantime, I'm just going to keep doing what I need to do on my spiritual, spiritual journey. I do see karmic um, person in this reading. Karmic, um, karmic person in this reading, I see here that they're not happy about something. They feel that something was unfairly done. They feel like something is unfair. It shouldn't have happened this way. Um, they feel um, stuck in the memories, the, the thought of being with Divine Masculine. They, they feel that there's still a chance for them to continue to grow. But in this reading, this Divine Masculine has already stepped away uh, from a karmic partner. They're, they're on their own. They're single. But this karmic person shows some kind of attachment to divine masculine and hopes that things will, will return to the way they were. Um, this person is hoping for marriage. They're hoping for some sort of commitment with divine masculine. It's kind of like being in denial. That's what I see here. I feel that there was a sudden uh, separation between these two. These two, um, whoever they whoever they are, um, when they were together, they, they kind of, the way they lived was as if everything is officially, like it's done, everything's official. But um, Divine Masculine, when this separation took place, Divine Masculine stepped into the single season. He accepted, he accepted his current um, situation as it is. But this karmic individual in this reading still feels a strong attachment to Divine Masculine, hopes that things will, um, that they would get back together, like Divine Masculine will return, we can continue where we left off. But there's divine intervention here, there's, there's a block, there is protection for Divine Masculine in this reading. Divine Masculine's emotions will not be, I feel like, and what I see here is that Divine Masculine will focus on self, emotionally will become stronger and it's like will not follow the um it's like tune what i'm getting is like a tune sound um something to to bring divine masculine back into that connection with this karmic person it will not happen because divine masculine here is being protected there's a block here because divine masculine will be emotionally um stronger able and they will not feel that urge to i need to you know get back with this person i need to make things right Th that's not going to come in from what i see here but this karmic person is hoping that divine masculine will return they are trying to be stronger appear very strong as if they're not bothered by the separation, but they are bothered by it. It shows here that the karmic person will not be the first to reach out. They're hoping Divine Masculine will be the first to reach out, but Divine Masculine is 
busy doing their own thing at this time. It shows no wish fulfillment. Nothing will, will move forward from here between these two. Divine Masculine does not have time for... I feel like... Um, it's something having to do with this karmic person who uses emotions to make Divine Masculine feel a certain way um, so that they make a decision. But this Divine Mask is not going to make his decision based on what the karmic person is uh, emotionally experiencing. Divine Masculine is making decisions now on what they intuitively feel guided to do. There's a strong intuition here. One more thing I see in this reading. Um, Divine Masculine has no intentions to restore the connection with this person. It shows that Divine Masculine doesn't want any... Anyone playing around with their emotions shows clearly about, I don't want someone playing with my heart. I don't want someone playing with my emotions. And right now in this reading, I don't see um, a strong like, like urge to connect with Divine Feminine yet. It's more of like, I want to be happy again. I want to do what I need to do for self so I can get there. So this is somebody who's more... Um, they're, they're more focused on that self-love, wellness, um, taking care of self, building themselves more before um, moving into, into another relationship or moving towards Divine Feminine. Okay, so this is the reading for today. I hope you like this reading. If you like my readings, please subscribe to my channel, leave a comment below. And thank you all for watching. Have a great day. Bye, everyone.